think about it, visualize it in detail, and lo and behold, it finds its way into your hands. Now, if only it were that easy to find the man of my dreams, the man of my, my vision. No, not yet, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me, my sweet friends. I have a try on thrift haul for you guys today. I have mentioned, yes, I have mentioned more than once on my channel that I am super picky these days. I do not leave an op shop with multiple items anymore. It's usually one thing, perhaps two a day. And so it takes me a little while to gather a gorgeous collection of pieces to share with you guys. And I'm really excited about today's video because I think you're gonna love the pieces. Well, at least I hope you will just as much as yours truly, my friends. So without further ado, let us jump straight into this video. I am going to begin with winter. Yes, I am the nutcase that still buys winter clothing when I'm in spring, summer, because, well, A, I'm addicted to outerwear, and B, I'm addicted to outerwear. So I am not sure how I'm gonna go trying these things on because it is quite warm today. This is a gorgeous long, coat that I thrifted by the brand Regatta, which I know is sold in Maya. Maya is a department store here in Australia. Okay, it's a size 14 and the fabric, if I remember correctly, was a wool blend. Only 10% wool, 90% polyester. But you know what? I just love this coat. I love the tan color. I think it's such a gorgeous neutral to wear in the winter time. I love the herringbone tweed vibe. The front pockets, the tortoiseshell buttons, it's fully lined. I thought it was a great find. That is how it looks, my friends. What do you guys think? I think it's gorgeous and I just couldn't resist it. I like it with the sleeves zhuzhed up as well. And it's got a button cuff detail too. I mean, do you see how long it is, my friends? It's just a great length. I think this is such a great piece. I also found this gorgeous coat. This is by B&B &B Dakota, which is sold on Shopbop. Dot com and I know this because I've actually bought from this label on the shop Bob website. I think this is a great coat in this gorgeous gray. Again, it's got that tweed texture. This one is a 60-40 polyester wool blend, which is great. Again, fully lined. I really am obsessed with double-breasted blazers and coats. It's just so old school and so chic. How nice is this one, you guys? Love the pockets, they're kind of a little discreet side, kind of slip your hands in pocket. This collar is very dramatic, I gotta say, and I just love it. I think it's a great piece. This coat, again, goes past my denim skirt. Great length. Love, love the double-breasted silhouette of this. This is gorgeous, it doesn't have any button cuff detail. But look at that texture. It's so nice, right? My friends, I have 33 pieces of outerwear. And another three now, 36 pieces of outerwear. What can I do? But how nice, how nice is this? I mean, could you leave this behind? No, exactly. The final piece of outerwear is this gorgeous vintage, 100% wool, my friends. Yes, double-breasted blazer slash jacket. So nice with those pockets that I love again. They're just gorgeous, fully lined. It's even got the tab detail on the shoulder and that is the label. And there is the pure wool little branding. Size eight. I'm not sure this fits like a size eight. It's definitely oversized because it's kind of perfect. Okay, so it's an oversized size eight. It fits me perfectly on the shoulders. And did you notice the detail on the shoulder, my friends? Even in the back? How gorgeous is that? Now, do you blame me? Do you blame me? No. The length of this one is gorgeous as well. It kind of hits the same length as my skirt. It's just an absolutely 
gorgeous vintage piece. You guys, I have a lot of striped knits. I really do. But I can't resist them because they're just so chic. I just am simply drawn to them. And I love this one because it's a soft turtleneck and a little wide or kind of bell sleeve, I should say. And I love the way this stripe starts at the chest and not right up here. I think it's very chic. There was no label in this one. It's kind of shorter at the front and then longer in the back. And so it makes it easy to tuck in this front bit if I want that look. Or of course, I can just wear it out, flowy, relaxed, very effortless. I just love it. I thought it was such a good piece. So I have one hat to show you guys. It's this very cute wool Baker Boy hat. I think it's adorable. I love hats in the winter time, especially this style. This one is by Miller's and it's 100% acrylic. I really love the texture in this knit and I don't think I actually have a Baker Boy hat in a beautiful cream color. How gorgeous is this piece. It's vintage. It's obviously a cardigan, but I reckon this would look gorgeous as a top buttoned up. I love this little sleeve. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's this texture that just does it for me. The placket is ribbed with the buttons and it's got two tiny little pockets, which I must say are not necessary on this cardigan. Unless you have pockets that you can actually use, these little pockets for me just ruin a piece. But I can get past that because it's just a stunning piece, it really is. So this one is by Young Casuals. It's a size medium, made in Taiwan, 100% acrylic. Would you believe, my friends, that a couple of days ago, I was scrolling on Instagram and I found a piece on the Me and M website, almost identical to this. I, I just couldn't believe it. The way I saw it on their website kind of inspired me to style it in the same way for the cutaway. Didn't I just mention to you guys in my what I bought in Hawaii try and haul that I was looking for a black cami because I'd already found my ideal white cami? I found it. I found it, my friends, and it's vintage. And it's a beautiful square neckline with this amazing lace trim. It's short and floaty like my white one. I mean, if that is not manifestation, then I don't know what is. Think about it, visualize it in detail, and lo and behold, it finds its way into your hands. Now, if only it were that easy to find the man of my dreams, the man of my, my vision. No, not yet my friends. So this one is by Kaza. It's polyester and made in Australia. When it comes to styling up a cami, my go-to is to pair it with a cardigan. I just love, love the pairing of them because usually a cami is lacy and soft. A soft cardigan paired with that is just a beautiful pairing. And when I saw this cardigan. Look, I'm not sure about this detail here. Okay, it's not really me, but I do think it's very chic and kind of old world. And I thought the cami underneath this cardigan is possibly gorgeous. Although this piece is not really me, right? I bought it to sell. I am a reseller. Okay, it may not be me, but I can see how how stunning it is, it really is. It's a gorgeous piece. And I don't know, I thought it looked very gorgeous with a cami underneath. Just a beautiful pairing. This cardigan is by Cynthia Rowley. It's a size medium. I love the way these two pieces fit together. I'm keeping the cami though, the cami's mine. I found this cute little sleeveless knit in my little church op shop for $1. And I just thought, what a great basic staple to have in my wardrobe as a layering piece. It's got this very tiny texture to it. I actually think it's cable knit. Do you make that out? But I love the high neck. It fits me really well. There was no tag inside of this at all, so I have no idea. It's probably acrylic as well, or it could be cotton. I don't know, but I just thought that was a great 
staple for my wardrobe that I don't already have. So this, when I saw it at first, I thought, hmm, now can I modernize this piece? Because it is vintage. It's a polo neck, short sleeve knit. But this color is absolutely gorgeous. I do love this textured detail in the center. And I thought, okay, it's got the ribbed bottom, which makes it real easy to tuck up under a bra for a floaty little silhouette. When I tried it on, the sleeve was kind of like a half sleeve. And I thought, yeah, no, this is this is a good piece. I have to, I have to get it. And there is the vintage label. Does that say Caraca? I just love the man style vibe of this piece. So yeah, I love that. I found this linen dress, my friends. It's a column dress with two slits on either side. It has this tortoiseshell detail on the strap. The straps on this have sliders, so it's adjustable and it just fit me, my friends. I don't think it's flattering on me though, so this is something I am gonna sell. If it was a size 10, I think it would have fit me perfectly. And it is a shame because I do love pieces like this. You know, I think it's just very simple but you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can take it on holiday, you can wear it to coffee. It's just that great linen dress. Nude underwear is your best friend. It's not gonna show up at all. And yeah, you have yourself an absolutely stunning summer dress. So this one is by Elka Collective. It's a size eight, 100% linen made in China. Can you guys see all the polka dot pieces I have on here? Yes. If you didn't know, I love polka dots. I have a men's shirt. Of course I do, because would it be a try on thrift haul without a men's shirt? I love this one, vintage white with a gorgeous blue stripe. And this is why I love men's shirts, especially cotton shirts, right? Because they've got the classic prints, the stripes, the checks, the plaid, the very thin pinstripe, the, the gingham print. It's just so preppy and classic and never dates. Never dates, my friends. And the blue in this stripe is like a gorgeous denim blue and I love it. So it's just got one single chest pocket. I've rolled up the sleeves. I love it as a half sleeve. I love it as a short sleeve. I love it long. It's just gorgeous. The oversized fit is perfection. The label says Manhattan. And although there is no fabric tag composition, I know that this is 100% cotton. I just know, I just know my shirts. Okay, I found this short sleeve oversized shirt today. I found it today. So I haven't done the cutaway for it yet, but I will after I've finished talking to you guys. But how gorgeous is this? So the brand is Lily Loves, and I know that this is also a Maya brand. It's a size 10, 100% cotton. I just love this exaggerated sleeve, this exaggerated chest pocket, the shape, it's oversized, it's meant to be oversized. It's got a beautiful little pleated detail in the back for that gorgeous movement that I look for. And what a great piece. I think I'm gonna style this up as an overshirt over a pair of like denim shorts and a little tank top. That's kind of where I went with it in my head, but it's so gorgeous. It's just a great piece. I'm not gonna bore you with the details as to why I love a polka dot print. If you are familiar with me and my channel, you've heard it many times and you're probably sick to death of me telling you about it. So I'll show you instead. How stunning is this skirt? Okay, how stunning. When I saw it, I swooned, I did, because this is everything I love. The colorway, the print, the asymmetrical hem, it's vintage, the high waist. It is pure perfection, my friends. Yeah, I am gonna have so much fun with this piece. I know of at least five different ways I can style it. I just love it. You can dress it up or down. You can make it look offbeat with a pair of Converse or very ladylike with a little kitten heel or even somewhere in between with a little kitten heel booty, which is what I went for, if I remember correctly. An amazing piece that is gonna stick 
around in my wardrobe for God knows how long because I don't think I can ever be over a piece like this, my friends. And there is the vintage label. I cannot make out what that says, but I know it's vintage. This has to be polyester, but you know what? I don't care. I do not care because vintage polyester is nothing like the polyester that's in Zara and H&M. That polyester is so thin and flammable. Yeah, all right, this is flammable as well, but it feels like silk. What is it with the vintage polyester? Does someone know? Because it's amazing. This piece is just amazing. I do not care if I come home with only one piece, my friends, as long as it's as good as this top. This top is pure romance, pure demurity. Is that even a word? Demureness, pure elegance. And I just love everything about it. Again, the colorway. This is cream though, whereas this is white. Okay, and I love a cream. I know a lot of girls do not like it, especially these modern cool girls, but I love it because it's so old school. I love it. This deep V is what I talk about all the time, you guys. My love for a deep V is reflected in this beautiful top. And you won't believe where this top is from. It's Forever New. Forever New is a high street brand. This probably was about I don't know, full price, 60. I don't know their prices because I don't go in there. I do not shop forever new. I love the ruffle detail at the front and it's mirrored in the back. And when you tuck it in, it's a little tricky because the ruffle stops about here. And so you're kind of interrupting it, but I still think it looks good. I adore this piece. I adore it. I cannot wait to wear it. I cannot, I cannot wait because this, oh my God, it just makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. These two pieces make me so happy. I found this gorgeous asymmetrical midi skirt with the high waist and my friends, pockets and tie detail at my local Salvos. It was new with tags, but the tag was written in Mandarin. So I know that it's not a designer piece, but it was new and in my opinion, it's made beautifully. Look at this seam along the hem of the skirt, okay? And the pockets are just sewn in so gorgeously. The waistband, so well made, so well crafted. The asymmetrical hem, absolutely gorgeous. And I love lavender. I love violet. I love purple. I love any hue in that color spectrum, my friends. It's just gorgeous. And so when I saw this top in my local Vinnie's just last week, I thought maybe that top will go with that skirt, but maybe it's too much color. I'm not really into color at the moment, but how else am I gonna style this skirt? I did come across this graphic tee with a little bit of this color in the graphic, but it was from Kmart and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it just for the try on and then I'm never gonna wear it again, you know? So I thought, nah, nah, I'll style it with the top, even though it's not inherently the way I would go because that is a lot of color. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't look wrong, it just wasn't inherently the way I had pictured styling these two pieces, right? I did, I styled them together, they work beautifully beautifully. This top is so cute. It is so cute with the ruffled high neck and the little ruffle on the, the edge of the shoulder because it's sleeveless. It's floaty and when you tuck it in, it just looks demure. It does. I love to look demure sometimes. I do. I love to look tomboy. I love to look chic. I love to look Tomboy, did I say that already? I think I did, but anyway, I love this. I would wear this with denim. Denim and my lilac loafers, yes. How good would that be? But not black denim, blue, because blue and this color, pure perfection, my friends. But this one is from Portman's. It's a size eight, three gorgeous polka dot pieces that I'm equally in love with. Well, maybe not equally, I think. I think this, wow. Wow, and then this, and then 
the purple one, but I just cannot wait to style these up. Okay, for someone who has been going on and on and on about, she doesn't like color, she doesn't wear color, she's not into color at the moment, pink trouser pants. I couldn't resist them. I saw them at my long jetty flea markets and I just thought, oh my God, those pants. I love the shape, I love the tone of pink, I need to try them on. And so I tried them on, I think I was wearing a dress, so I just tried them on underneath and they fit me perfectly, even though they are marked a size extra small. These fit more like a small, they're beautifully tailored for a fast fashion brand. I know this Lioness brand is very on trend, okay? And the length is a little bit long on me, but with the right shoe, I, I think it can still work. Even in the back, it's just so well made. Listen, I am not boycotting color, okay? I reserve the right to wear it whenever I feel like it and I'm allowed to change my mind. When I wear color, I love to style it with a neutral. It just brings it down to earth and makes it so much more wearable. And so when it comes to pink, my favorite way to wear it is styled back with navy. Pink and navy are such, oh, it's, it's pure perfection, my friends, or tan. I love pink and tan. Oh, that is gorgeous as well. But I went with navy and I love the way it turned out. Yes, you could go white, you could go black, but that is expected. I love an unexpected feel to my outfits and I think navy and pink are unexpected. Okay, so yeah, I look forward to wearing these now. This is the perfect weather to wear them. It's not too hot, it's spring, it's soft. These, these were a great find for 10 bucks. When I came across this piece, my friends, I thought, is that sleepwear or not? And then I thought, who cares? Who cares what it is? I like it. I would wear it out. I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like. I had promised myself that I would no longer be picking up pieces with a resort collar. It's just not my thing. I want the option of buttoning my shirt right up to the neck or having a deep V. I am not in love with a resort collar, but for some reason, the resort collar worked with this piece and I love it. I love the color, I love the silhouette, I love the panels, I love that it's semi sheer That's another thing. I never used to wear sheer things. I was like, no, it's sheer, I don't like it. But now I'm kind of like, yeah, I can, I can wear something sheer, why not? Why the hell not, my friends? So yeah, I grabbed it. The label on this is anywhere spelt W-E-A-R, anytime. So maybe, yes, of course. Anywhere, anytime, you can wear it pajamas or you can wear it out. Oh, so it's a size medium and it's made in Australia. And the final piece, my friends, to round up this 20 piece try on thrift haul is a pair of very pretty sandals. These are by the brand Dune London. They are leather and this beautiful embellishment. They're a T-bar sandal, which I've grown to actually like on my foot because I never used to wear this style. But I think these are so gorgeous. I can picture myself wearing them on my travels when I go to Bali and when I go to tropical destinations on a balmy evening when I'm out enjoying dinner or drinks. These sandals will make the perfect shoe for any floaty dress or floaty pants. How gorgeous are they? I love the soft metallic gold and this this sparkle. I'm, I'm into sparkle again. What is, what is going on with me? I never used to like sparkle, my friends, never. But now, give me sparkle. Yes, I, I'll have it. And how beautiful are they? They've been hardly worn. And even though they are a size 39, they fit me to perfection. And they've got this double sling back. So you've got one that goes around your heel, but then you have one that's higher and just lifts that gorgeous little detail of the embellishment. So pretty. I thought 
They were so pretty, such good condition, such a treasure find. And so my friends, that is a wrap on this try on thrift haul. I really, really hope you guys loved the pieces as much as I do because come on, aren't they just magical? And all from op shops. Who needs retail? Seriously, who needs it? I, I, I need retail for my bags and shoes, I'm not gonna lie, but clothing, I love thrifting so much because I just think it, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it just, it pushes you to get creative and evolve your personal style. That is, that is what thrifting does, my friends. It helps you find your personal style. If you are, my friends, looking for outfit inspiration. Please come and follow me on Instagram because I post my outfits every single day and there are 17 volumes of outfits for you to peruse on my highlights. And if you do wanna see more content from me, then please subscribe to my channel. I upload every Friday and sometimes a sneaky extra one as well. So my friends, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one. Oh my God, did you hear that? Birds freak me out, my friends. They are just, the sounds they make. What is going on?